Just like Mary was preaching about who takes care of his own. We are not a man. We are an imitation or a flickering vapor of what a man is. Let's finish. Culture of cheaters. This is the syndrome of black homes. You know, look, look at this picture carefully. Look at this picture. That's how. Can I tell you what? If many black men who make it in the big five, this is my same one. Most men who make it in the big five are not lions. White men are lions. Indians are lions. They, stay, they know that the power of their wealth is homo. So you'll find that in, in an Indian community, the whole family has owned this. Yeah. You, not blacks. We are, we are not continuing doing like this one. Mm. You know what a lion does? It will kill, it will defend, it hunts, it marks territory to protect the pride. We are not that as blacks. We are this one. What's wrong with this picture? There's something wrong with this picture. It's a mother with calves. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what the nature of cheetahs do? They only stay with the mate for sex and live. The calf or the, the, the calf of a cheetah never sees a male hunt ever in his lifetime. Because the father disappears the moment it's pregnant. Remember, they mate his man. He wanted to say cheetah. So they come. The both is come and they leave. It made it to the big five. It made it to become a little man. It did finish and get a high school degree. It did manage to be a, a heavy, same level of lifestyle. But they continue. You know what? The highest death rate of cats is this one. Yeah. They give birth to six, but they only raise two or one. Yes. Because it's one woman take protecting, hunting, feeding. Protecting, hunting, feeding. The lion, the man, is not intent on protecting. Mm. This one is gallivanting. Once success gets to our head, it is the woman who fight, the woman who protect, the woman who feed. So the kids die faster. Because the father is not there, it is the only cat who the cubs die faster because it's a matriarch that takes care of everything. And some of us are the brothers of that. And we are dying fast, we are dying relationally, we are dying emotionally, we are dying psychologically. The cheetah mentality must die in the black nation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My friend, make it possible. Show me this one. This one, once we <laughs> successful hunters, can they say that? Can they say that? It makes me laugh. This one does not have time to kill. It will eat you as you move. Yeah, yeah. These are the kind of men that sleep with the woman on their period. Yeah. They don't care. They run to me. Run to me. They drive to me. Yeah. They don't care if you're sleeping with someone yesterday. They drive to me. Oh, yeah. Drive to mentality behind. I love him always. They don't take messengers. They don't wait to kill. They hide, they don't wait to run after they can eat you running. And guess what? Some men don't have morale so much that in this corporate jungle, they have no standards. They take money that comes from anyway. As a man, there are checks you must never take, there are tenders you must never take, and there are cookies you must never eat. No matter how drunk you are, it's a cookie you must never eat. You see funny things on it, flaky stuff, and you eat it. You don't care, you are a hyena. You just drive to everywhere. You have sex in the dark. Examine it before you eat it. What's wrong with you? I'm not talking to church men. I'm talking to men. Love yourself so much that you must look at it and the talk. If, if you listen to what I'm saying, I will tell you I am even protecting your wife. I'm protecting your wife. I'm not asking you to be a perfect man. I'm asking you to be a reasonable man. That's why my book I call the, the Reign of Reason. The Reign of Reason. The Reign of Reason. Men have lost their reason. Ask the age of that thing. No matter if there is deep boobs and broad there, ask how old are you? Show me your certificate. Yeah. Because you could be sleeping with your daughter. Yeah. Don't be a hyena. Look at this thing here. And God said that men in our own image, our own likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Let's, let's move from this, uh, from this one. As far as it's Bonada. Bonada. Father, 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 please. Yeah, I want to show you. I have a problem when I have, listen, I have no problem with this woman who plays so fantastic. But I can guarantee the fact, I can take I, I, the other things I couldn't do them. If I take that girl's face off, well, you know, I don't call that, that's called three. That, you know, women come in courts. Mm. Court 18, court 14. I might not double class because our tastes are different. <laughs> we name them. We are going to have a double class. You know, I need a woman that is thick. Yeah. Double class. We want to have a double class. There are 19 girls for one. <laughs> so 
you know what is beautiful? There is everything in culture. I want to say this woman is beautiful, but there is a problem I want to say. Yeah. When black women in America, which is a syndrome that's satanic and demonic, yeah, yeah, that is yeah. coming to Africa, mm -hmm. is that when you go to the upper arsenal of yeah. success, your symbol of you to settle down is a white, white penis. Man. Yeah. Yeah. White man. Uh, yeah. It's a white penis. White and guess what? When white men marry women, they want to marry women who look like black men. Yeah. Because at the back of their mind, they want to have sex with you. Okay, let me When look at that physique. I mean, I want to, I'm sorry, some men like that one is beautiful, but look at that arm. Some of yeah. you don't have that arm. Yeah. Some of you don't have, look at that arm. Some of you here, if I put that arm, they, they, they will think that you are a little sister with your brother. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I am saying men. Yeah. I want you to know when I said balls, this, this teaching, I'm going to teach everywhere in the country. This is part one. I have got 19 parts series of balls, the making of a she-male, as they change the castration of the modern men, as they go by the title remains balls. And I will end up by putting my best, my favorite basketball player, LeBron James. Yes. Yeah. Who is surely showing us what a black man, he is doing better than T.D. Jakes for me. Yeah. And he doesn't go to church, he uses the fat word. Mm. Well, fat means fornicate under consent of king. <laughs> So that you don't say I'm swearing. Yeah, it's funny king under consent of king, so that you don't say Bishop is saying fuck. And consent of king, it just happened in medieval England, where you wanted to have sex with a girl, but you don't want to marry the girl. The king wrote you a letter of consent to say that you can fuck the girl, but don't marry with the girl. So she was your fuck thing. If another man slept with her, they will stone him because the king gave you a consent, consent. in an amazing <laughs> in a consented period of time. And you pay a certain amount of tax. To have the right to have that with them. So it was called fuck. It's an English word. But because of bastardization and evolution of language, we have made it. And guess what? So, so if a woman right now is being effed up in this world, and the Bible says Satan is the god of this world, and if he doesn't do you right to marry you or see your father, it simply means there is a god that is given in a letter of consent. And which is the truth of the matter? You are effed up. Because someone wrote a letter of consent to have your cookie without sexing you. So when we say I fucked it up last night, it's 100% correct. There's a demonic letter of consent that that man had that gave him the audacity to sleep with you and disrespect your father. Because whoever sleeps with a cookie vandalizes the image of the father. So look at the female. Female, uh, uh, please, can you push it a little bit here because I. I want to read that. I want to, because many people don't know what a female is. There's two small, small slides and we are gone. Look at this thing here. Yeah, yes. Female yeah. is the sex of, female is the sex of an organ or part of an organism which produce non-mobile ova, which are egg cells. Yeah. Non-mobile. Yeah. The difference between a, hey, a woman and you is that you both produce over, but the difference is that mine is mobile. Yeah. Hers is non mobile. So, which means movement defines a man. If you are a man and your CV has not changed in the past six years, over, you are stagnant. I should change that you are a man and say you are this because a man is transition. Your CV must change, you must constantly upgrade yourself. I respect the man who has a big arm cover that is all arm cover for the past seven years. Because I can see some movement. I can't even this. <laughs> Listen to this, and this is what made me write the king of the myth one. The king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name is one, is poor, Shibla, and blah, blah, blah. And he said, when you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and sit them upon the stools, if a son is born, kill him. But if a daughter, then she shall live. Can I tell you the truth? That's why I was preaching in the men's group. The enemy is after the man. It says, kill the man. And up to now, we realize that there are more deaths of male infants than female infants because the premise of life is kill the male. You know what a white woman is? A white woman, every time they have sex, they wish to fall in pregnant. Do you know what black women do? Every time they have sex, they wish not to. Yeah, because we are too fertile. That woman says, oh, but the thing that is tall. But, hey, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. And if you see my thing, it's always balls, emasculate. Let me tell you what emasculate means. To make a man feel less masculine.
to deprive a man of his male strength, raw etc., to make something weaker or less effective, to castrate. Now, feminize, to give a female quality or to cause or to make on female characters on a man. I'm done now. I'm done now. I'm done now. Calm down. Can I stop here? Yeah. Emasculate, lynching, backbreaking, and grilling. And all I want to say, when you look at economy, when you look at money, when you look at our fathers going to work, when you look at the struggle of men who pay black tax, I will tell you one thing, we are financially or economically castrated. And a man that does not have power is not a man. You can dream of it, you can pray of it, but if you don't have power, you're a man. That's what they used to do. Back breaking is what I will teach in another service. Come down, come down, come down. Castration. To deny power. You know what a eunuch is, sir? A eunuch was not just designed to cut. No. I had someone say, eunuch, you know, to cut off it. No. That one is now called sterilization. Castration and sterilization are not the same. This is why eunuchs were not sterilized. Because to sterilize means you're still sexually active. To castrate was only done for a king's harem, yeah. for a man that would take care of the king's women, so that it did not contaminate the king's women. He had to be castrated to remove the desire to want to pregnant, to remove the desire to make the penis erect. Now, where does that come in? Many of us here who have what we call corporate employment are taking care of the master's women called your wife. Because you don't pay her, he does. You don't own her time, he does. So at the end of the day, you are a smart, castrated man living in a Porsche house, driving a car, but you are castrated because if you are not the source of your wife and your family, you are nothing but some other man's toy in the corporate jungle. You like it, you don't like it. Don't tell me that coach your wife to be successful. No, they don't do that. They own the company. They own the shares. They own the football. Don't tell me about Louis Hamilton. Yeah. Don't tell me about him. He's playing that for a white person. He's a star for white people. Who owns the cars? Who owns the racetrack? Who owns Man U? Your man kicks for money and makes 800,000 800, a week. What, what, does, what does that mean? He's still a pawn, can be replaced anytime. And we have got to fix the balance of power and raise the caliber of men who are land oriented. Land credit without appropriation to a man that has no mind is waste. You can take functional land and give a black person that has no picture in his mind to what to do with it. He just wants land. What do you see in the land? One man looked at the picture and saw a bridge. One man looked at the sky, saw a, f a aeroplane flying. And all a black person can come and say is that the boat on the station was done by a black woman. Nonsense. Are we created to find the ideas of other people? Or we should create our own? Where is our pride as a race and as men? <coughs> to understand that when you've got family, kids, and the name, Ika, maybe Ika, that's number one, the pride of your name that you carry now. Yeah. The pride of that name. Can I close? Yes, this needs to get we are done. This is what we females do. They are pimps, they are players, they are predators, they are couch potatoes, they are impregnators, and they are professionals. These are the caliber of black men acres, black men at Bryston, black men at church, helicious men in powerful positions. Helicious men in godly positions. Because they, just because they've got Jesus and the Bible does not change the nature of being broken inside. That's why you find pastors who sleep with things they should protect. You don't know the difference. This is why I said that, listen, why do men love shaved vagina? Why do you love a shaved vagina? They, you know, I mean, straight, they even wax it. No, that's waxed. You are going waxing one. Because it's trying to make your kid your father. It's trying to yeah. reduce your cookie yeah. to look like a newborn baby. A man must love bush because we're hunting the bush. You must love something rough that puts you up on the kitchen. You're busy liking babies. Shave it. Shave it until it's clean. Some women put cream, they put stuff so much that it exactly looks like their daughters. Don't you see a man
function in mind that wants a smooth, clean vagina is actually showing you that you are sleeping with your daughter. Because a woman's vagina, that's why she has hair. That's why she must, she has must have a certain order. I wish there was no woman I was going to teach you did. I want my last slide. Last one. Come down, I'm done. I'm done. There, 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 there. That's one slide, then we pray. I want us to pray. Give me that one. That one. Who is your father? And do you have a child you've denied? Do you have an issue with your father? Who are you? You are nothing but the fruit. I wish there was someone who could pray. I wish you are the fruit. You are the fruit of the tree you come from. You sit here, you hate your father in disgust, you are just a perpetual blood and stream of whatever he is. Mm -hmm. Don't care whether you like him, he's in prison, he's dead, it doesn't matter. But I'll tell you, man, who's your father? Because who your father is determines who you are. And you become nothing better than that. Whatever you are angered by, you become. Yeah. Whatever you forgive, you are healed from. Mm -hmm. ah. Say that again. So until you are healed from it, you will become it. You know, you say your father used to beat your mother, you don't like it. Three days ago, you nearly slept her. And you don't realize that by, by time, you are becoming what you hate. Because what you forgive, you are released from. Yeah. What you hold on to, you become. Who's your father? Because a fatherless generation creates a boneless nation. And this is a plague that is plaguing South Africa, and people are molesting it. They are making money out of it, but nobody is solving the actual problem. Father, no boast. Seaman, seaman, men swimming in the sea, currency, flow, everything comes down to what's in between your mouth. May they, may they, a generation under a curse. LeBron James, I love him. If ever there are people I want to work with, there are people like him. Bought a million dollar school. Sending people to school, buying them bicycles, give them education, give them focused care. That's how we cure the yeah. cancer yeah. of the ghetto mentality. I wish I would tell you how yeah. ghettos were done. I said, we are proud. I'm a product of ghetto. But the person who made ghetto designed to, 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 to F my mind. Ghetto township is a ship that never makes it to town. Yeah. And the white man put us there on purpose. You will never, you will find more beer holes in a ghetto yeah. than a library. Yeah. Because it is an intricate design to perpetually castrate the mind of a person. And until you come out of the mind frame, I can tell you, you can buy a house, build a mansion, but the designer who designed the maze is still your master. 